the benefit of having information in wastewater is that it serves as a canary in a coal mine uh, in a fashion. It allows you to see uh, an outbreak before people have shown up at a doctor's office or the ER. We're in the research and development lab at the Metro plant in St. Paul, uh, where we do extractions of SARS-CoV-2 viral RNA from wastewater. In March 2020, we, we started to see reports in the literature and in popular press about people analyzing wastewater to uh, detect uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus which causes um, the COVID-19 and seeing those reports we thought well that seems like something we should be doing. There were probably some researchers who were interested in this idea of using wastewater but it was not a commonly applied technique prior to the COVID pandemic. Uh, it was um, hypothetical or theoretical enough that we hadn't heard about it and you know we keep our ears to the ground pretty closely. The idea was that by measuring the virus in the wastewater, you could actually predict what the number of cases would be in the community, give the Department of Health a little bit of lead time so that they can see cases are going to be increasing because, well, we saw it in the wastewater first. I uh, didn't know anything about uh, measuring RNA in wastewater or extracting it from wastewater and um, so we had to learn from others. We contacted the people at uh, the university, the Genomic Center, and asked them if they could help us. The University of Minnesota Genomic Center is what's called a core facility. We provide the base technology for nucleic acid research of uh, DNA sequencing and other DNA-based uh, technologies like genotyping. They knew what was going on. They knew how to do these kinds of things. They didn't know wastewater, but um, you know, as a as a team, we were able to work on it together, and we learned a lot from them. Steve's lab put in place a workflow for taking a sample of wastewater and extracting from it nucleic acids, RNA, that we could then run our tests on. And that's been very productive. They have worked on what they're best at, we've worked on what we're best at. I have to say I've been surprised by how good the data is. What I did not expect was for the correlation between what we were seeing in wastewater and what was being reported from, you know, testing of actual patients in the community, so the positivity rate, to, to be so closely linked. That was really shocking to me. The idea of tracking disease in wastewater worked much better than I would have expected. The public has an interest in wastewater treatment plants using that stream of information effectively and being able to kind of inform people, hey, something's up, there's a disease emerging, there's something that you should pay attention to. Of course, I'm not an expert in wastewater, that, that's what the Met Council is, but we see wastewater now in a new light. It's an extraordinarily useful resource.